What's up, everybody? Welcome back to a new video. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So for those of you who don't know, me and two of my other friends have been doing, you guys know who my other friends are. You got Frankie and then there's Drew. You guys have seen him on the channel before. We've been doing a 75 day hard. Mine wasn't really a 75 day hard though. That's your easiest as I, I, my main focus was 75 days, no alcohol. You know, I was still doing coke, I was still doing drugs, just no alcohol. <laughs> Me and Frank were scared as fuck. I was like, why is that? We didn't know about this shit. <laughs> this motherfucker has been doing 75 day hard. Like, he he actually did 75 day hard. Yeah. I give you props, my boy. Thank you, thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations. You, you've been doing your Great shit job. too. Thank you, bro. Thank I know you're you on too. day 70 or something today. It's actually 175. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday was my last day of doing 75 hard, so I haven't had a drink in 2024. I haven't had not one sip of alcohol. And Drew came with this fucking, he said, bro, I got a gift for you. 75 days of being boring. No cap. Hey, I'm being for real. <laughs> that shit was boring, bro. bro. 75 days sober was so fucking boring. It's actually kind of funny. We haven't hung out. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was just about <laughs> like, to say that. We, we only, only hung out once to eat steak and that's it. <laughs> so if you guys are, are regulars on the channel, you guys know we're with our friends almost every weekend. I have not seen these motherfuckers <laughs> in like three months. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Drew are gonna take our first shot of 2024. You ready, my boy, or are you ready? Yeah, I'm down, let's do it. So I actually bought these bottles in TJ when we uh, took Karen to get her chichonas done. I got two of these and I was saving them for this day. You haven't tried this one, right? Nah, I haven't tried no alcohol in them. Here, let's get it. I'm excited as f for this. You look nervous as fuck, I am nervous. Bro. I feel like I'm 21 again. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm scared. I kind of forgot what it feels like to be drunk. <laughs> Yo, it just know it's fun, bro. <laughs> you guys are gonna have a blast today. My hand's been shaking since you brought the bottle out. <laughs> I'm gonna take a shot straight out of this one here. And then I got you a little shot glass right here, my boy. And I got you one too. No, I'm not taking a shot for that. <laughs> Thank you though. <laughs> bro, just break it with no, it. I can't, I can't, I can't. He said five thousand dollars he breaks it. I bet. I got I got five thousand euros. <laughs> that, that's actually like that's still way still around you as deep still. For real? <laughs> yeah. Give or take. Wait, why are we listening to music? Yeah, you guys gotta listen to music. For real? I yeah. wanted to embrace the moment. Oh, you know what? Yeah, do it do it in silence actually. Yeah, do it in silence and boom explain <laughs> explain your feelings and like all that kind of I'm stuff. Fucking the wall has gonna fall out. Hey babe, you gonna come watch the shot or no? It's a big deal, bro. All right. It's a massive deal. This is crazy. This is actually insane, bro. We're, we're literally back. <laughs> we're so back. We're so back. We're so back right now. <laughs> How have you felt like being on 75 bar? Because I know you lost a lot of weight. Uh, fucking, I don't know. I feel like I've been locked in all year. Why do I feel like you got taller? I really don't know. I feel great, to be honest. I feel yeah, like- Yeah, I honestly felt like depressed as fuck when I was drinking every weekend. Waking up on Sundays while I had a hangover is fucking amazing. <laughs> I feel like I'm somebody who gets a lot of anxiety and I'm anxious a lot. I feel like not drinking actually has helped that. Weird. Sorry about that. Hell no, I'm not feeling that shit. I up. told you that. That's shit, a lot. Bro, too. It's like this much. <laughs> oh, it's leaking. Uh, take it first. Hurry, hurry. Right, oh, cheers, it bro. is. Cheers, oh, cheers. shit. Oh, shit. Wait, wait. Okay, do it. Fuck. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <gasps> We're so back. We are so back. I'm outside again. Maybe fuck you. Find another one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> I'm excited. We're going to Santa Monica right now. We're gonna hit a bar. We're gonna hit multiple bars, and then you're gonna have to carry me out that bitch. Yeah. This is how Drew has been looking right now. Got you in the spirit of St. Patty's. Let's see the fit. This is a dance. Oh. Bitch, show me the this shit's lit. I haven't been outside like this in a long time. Let me see, dance to it. Back up, dance to it, back up. Why? Because you got to pick up Amanda and Brian at 12. Yeah. And when I mean he, I mean I have to pick up Amanda and Brian, but I need somebody to go with me. Good. Well, fuck it. Oh, oh. brother, this 
this guy's drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Have you stopped drinking your puss? You got a brain. Have you stopped drinking your puss? Have you stopped drinking your puss? He's not going down. He's lying. He's lying. He's lying. I had a brain freeze. We outside right now. Hey. I'm outside and I'm horny. I'm like, shout out to Cash. He got us two stops. I can't drink that. He's gonna take it. Go, babe. Go. Cheers. Thank you. Have a good night, guys. You look so cute. Go. I'm so jealous right now. How you feel? I'm like, I gotta go home. Are you like, no, you guys took me home like right now. Yo, my boy, oh! you guys, I literally had Major League FOMO. I was at Rolling Loud, a whole ass festival, and I was like, it's Eddie's party day drinking. I need to be fucking outside for him. So now I'm here for him. I love What's you, this? bro. I love you, too. Thank you, like, we need to go. We need to go. Like, well, let's fucking go. We got two things to celebrate. His 75 days. And my city. Happy birthday, Guys, so um, here, girl, it's 75 ahead. day hard. Eddie's lit, but I like that I'm here just giving him a fucking pink back right. As I should. Babe, can I see your face? <laughs> Eddie, you should stick your fingers down your throat because it's only 10 p.m. <laughs> motherfucker. So you could last the rest of the Hi. night, bro. I don't want to. Please, bro. It's 10. <laughs> it's still early. <laughs> Title, you guys see the thumbnail. This wedding is coming in. Ha! I want to know if y'all can help me plan the wedding too because I didn't get no wedding planner and I'm low key struggling. Let me tell you guys what I have I have the venue, I have the food, I have the cake. Um, I just have to figure out the flavors today. We have the photo booth, we have the bartenders, we have uh, that's it. Who the f was gonna tell me that floral decor was $20,000? Because I heard $20,000, I said, what the f We can just get some flowers from the garden outside. No. My and put them on each table at the wedding. Literally, my mom was like, we can go to downtown LA, don't worry about it. She was like, we'll wake up super early, and we'll pick out all the flowers, and we'll do the arrangements ourselves. I said, yeah, mom, because that day I'm gonna be getting ready. I don't think I'm gonna be having time to do that. But anyways, I need you guys to help me with a banda and a marachi, okay? If y'all know your mama, your uncle, or somebody knows of a marachi or a banda in the LA area, let me know. Send them my way. These cakes were brought to us a few nights ago. We were actually trying them that night with the, the business that, that brought the cakes. We did film it too, but we didn't really like how the footage came out. It was just too all over the place. And also that day, Eddie was leaving, so I, we felt rushed. I felt yeah, like we were rushed, rushed, so we want to go ahead and retry them calmly this time. And I was like, what, like two, three days into recovery? So I wasn't really feeling good. Eddie was leaving and we were just, it was, we feel better now. We have time now, so we're going to go ahead and try the cakes. Yeah, I actually want to sit down and try the cakes like in front of a camera actually trying them. I felt like I was trying them so fast last time so I feel like I didn't really try them that good that night. I just want to just let it be known if you're planning to get married don't do it. The fuck? <laughs> 
Oh. It is so expensive. Me and Eddie were like, bro, should we just elope? Should we just go get married in Vegas? Oh, yeah, yeah. We said because, oh, Lord Jesus Christ, that shit is pricey. We already too deep in it. When we thought about it, we were like, fuck, we already have the venue. We can't like cancel it because we won't get a deposit back. So we we're like, ah, it's okay. We're going to get married. <laughs> so the flavors that we're dealing with today is chocolate, red velvet, strawberry, lemon, carrot, and confetti. I really appreciate this cake designer because she really went all out to give us specific like who does this? Who laminates a piece of cake? Ain't nobody do this. Shit. No one does that. Whole lamination with the whole sticker. And then on top of that, on this box, she went ahead and gave us all the flavors that we can use as fillings for the cake. We got um raspberry filling, strawberry filling, cookies up. Uh, Cookies and cream filling. We got dulce de leche filling. We have cookie butter filling. We have cheesecake filling. Nutella. By the way, y'all already know my mom is so picky when it comes to certain foods just because my mom is like, quote unquote, her own chef. My mom's had a restaurant at her house before. My mom used to sell food from the window. My mom is an actual chef, okay? Not only does she know how to cook, but she also knows how to bake. So I had to make sure my mom tried this cake before she was like, why'd you go with this person? But she tried them and she liked them, so. Shout out to them though, because they actually came and it was a two hour drive for them. They drove to our, our place and they were actually giving us like a little presentation of the cakes and like letting us know which one like usually gets bought or she was telling us what flavors really go with, with what cake and she was really doing her shit, her and her, her man. So shout out to you guys. Um, We're sorry we couldn't use all that footage neither because it was just so on the spot so last minute. I didn't even know she was coming that night to drop off her wedding cakes. I didn't know you was gonna be outside being a whore, so. <laughs> When the streets call, you gotta answer. Cause I forgot to I stopped drinking for a whole 75 days, right? You guys just saw the footage right now. I got sauced. But we took so many shots, bro. There was a bunch of supporters there. We love you guys for getting the shots, but we took so many shots that I blacked out at the bar. Blacked out. Like that footage you see me walking out with me jumping on Bless's back, I don't remember any of that. Long story short, bro, when we got home, I threw up all over Karen's car. Can I explain? Can I tell them the story time as we try the cakes? I have an actual story time of what went down that day because guess what? I was DD and I wasn't drinking, so I literally had to deal with all of these motherfuckers. Yeah, so I'm gonna um, leave it right there. I threw up all over Karen's car, so just, just stay here and listen to the story, and Karen will explain it to you because right. it was bad. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys the story as we try them. So, we all went out St. Patrick's Day. I was the DD, my friend Franklin, her Frank, he wasn't drinking either because he's doing 75 day hard and his 75 day hard doesn't end until like later on. So he was also sober. We were all hanging out and then I noticed that Ashley, Eddie, and my friend Drew were already like super lit. When I'm talking about like Eddie was falling, Ashley was twerking in the middle of the street, doing backflips, twerking, licking the floor. Drew was trying to like calm everybody down while he was the drunk. He's like, it was bad. So at this point I told Blessed like, bro, come with me to the structure so I can go get the jipeta and we can get the hell out of here because they cannot make it to the next bar. Like these people are super lit. Like they weren't being like extra, but they're being extra. All right, so we have this in the fridge. The chocolate is a little like hard, so I'm gonna put it in the, not chocolate, Nutella. I'm gonna put it in the microwave and let it warm up a little bit. So at this point, me and Blessed go, we're vibing, we're listening to Lifestyle on the way back. Me and him are like, damn, it's a great night. I'm just gonna take these people home. Why would we get there? Let me, let me just picture, so you guys can picture your head. Why would we get there? Ashley's throwing up on the curb. Eddie looks like he's pale and passed out. Dez is missing. We're like, where the hell is Dez? Apparently she had to pee. And she didn't let nobody know. And me and Blessed were just like, oh my God, like, let's get them in the car. This, I ended up this was making, after we left, right? Yeah, I ended up making like, uh, Ashley like a little trash can from a box of Trulies because these, when I tell you these people were pre-gaming before we got there, they were pre-gaming. So that same box of Trulies, I put like a little bag inside and I give it to Ashley so she could keep throwing up in there if she had to. And I put Eddie in the front, my other friend was in the other side. So it was Ashley, Frank, Drew, Eddie in the front, and then me as a driver, right? I was like, Frank, I had to pick up Amanda and Brian. Oh my God, we're just all over the place. Amanda and Brian had to get picked up from the airport because they had just made it back from Hawaii. But Brian had told me he was supposed to be there the following morning, not that night. Brian has said, and I remember because I heard you telling Brian, you keep trying to say that you didn't, but I heard you from the phone. 
talking about, oh yeah, bro, we gotta get there Saturday morning. So no, don't Sunday forget. morning. No, yeah, Sunday morning. So don't forget to pick us up. So I was like, all right, we bet. Sunday at 12 a.m. 12 a.m. So Saturday night at 11.59, once it hit 12, <laughs> that's when they arrived. I was like, there is no way. So at this point, I'm telling Frank, because Frank's in the back with Drew and Ashley trying to like, you know, get them to calm down. Um, I'm like, Frank, they're too intoxicated should we just get a hotel so I can leave you there with them. And if they gotta throw up or shower or whatever, they can do that. And then I'll go and pick up Amanda and Brian. Frank was like, okay, let's look up for a hotel. We couldn't find one, so we're like, whatever. Like, they're already falling asleep. Let's just go home. Can we try these cakes, my yes. buddy? <laughs> so which one are you trying first? The one I remember specifically is the Nutella and the chocolate. All right, we're going to do Nutella and chocolate as I keep telling the story. So that being said, we didn't get a hotel room. On the way home, it was like 35, 40 minute drive to my house. They fell asleep. Ashley fell asleep. Eddie fell asleep. Drew fell asleep. And then at this point, mm. uh, Frank's just in the back vibing, singing, woke up in the land of LAX with my girls in my car again. Windows down, me and him just vibing. We're like, okay, night is going good. We're just going to get home. They're going to go to sleep. I'm going to go pick up Amanda and Brian. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. But let me tell you what this motherfucker did. Me and Frank are vibing and I'm over here. When I tell you he projectile vomited on the dashboard, on his clothes and everything, I literally had to swerve the jipeta all the way to the right hand side just so that I can put the window down and be like, bang, bang, throw it outside the window. When I tell you he was fighting me, he wanted to throw inside the car so bad. He made it to where he woke up Ashley and Drew and it's like they all decided to just Hold hands and do ring around the roses to get there as a group because they all decided to throw up at the same time. So once we got home, apparently. No, we're not home yet. Home. Oh, you're taking a long time mm. to try these cakes, bro. Mm. Mm. I remember I like this one too. The yeah, Nutella and chocolate is fire. The chocolate and Nutella I really, really liked. Mm -hmm. and I wanted to retry it again. I don't remember what the other stuff tasted like though because I was such in a rush. So it's kind of like I'm trying it again. But this one I do remember tasting and I'm still not. I'm not like mad about this one. This one was really good. This one tastes really good. The Nutella and the chocolate, it's not too chocolatey. It's just the amount of perfect chocolate. It's really But I remember good. her saying that you can also do the cream cheese with the with the chocolate. Okay, do cream cheese. So I, I don't want to try cream cheese with chocolate too. All right, back to the story as we try the cream cheese. When I tell you Eddie's throwing up in the front, Ashley's throwing up in the back, and then I hear Drew gagging, and I'm trying my hardest to put the window down as I'm holding Eddie's head so he can continue to throw up outside so that Drew can make it outside the window before he throws up inside. I'm telling you guys, if I would have had, if I would have been two seconds slower, this man would have not thrown up outside, but he still got it all over my windshield. All three of them were throwing up. That shit smelled like pussy dick. It smelled like ass. It smelled like bounce that ass. It smelled, like ass. It smelled, ass. It smelled like nasty. Yours. <laughs> um, bro, it smells so gross. Did you like that or no? Yeah, that was good. But I, I'm still a big fan of the chocolate and Nutella. All right, so let me try the cream. So cheese. far, the chocolate and Nutella takes the cake. Mmm. So I do remember her saying you can mix and match a lot of these flavors with the cakes. Mmm. Absolutely. That one's good though, huh? This is fire. You see how I'm saying? I feel like we were so rushed when we were trying them the first time. What if we do both of them? Can we could do like the first half chocolate Nutella? And the no, second. like I meant like Nutella cream cheese. Like mix them? Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm trying to get a little crazy, huh? Why don't we try and mix? I mix it, mix it, mix it. All right, guys. So at this point, they're throwing up, and I'm like, what, like four minutes from home, and I'm trying to drive so slow. Like we were about to make it home when Eddie decided to throw up. If you would have just waited four minutes, babe, four minutes, we would have been inside the house. Okay. So boom, we're home. I find parking. Thank God I found parking. And the first thing that Eddie does is he opens the door and I'm like, wait, 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 wait. He opens the door. He falls head first onto the concrete. Head first. I literally seen him go, boom. <laughs> I posted a story the next morning and everybody thought I got in a fight on my Instagram. Well, you thought you got in a fight too. I thought I got in a fight, bro. I wake up in the morning, right? And I don't remember how I got home. I just remember waking up on the couch. Karen's right there sitting, just staring at me. Had legs crossed and everything. Like just staring at me like good morning i was like yo what's up i said how do we get home she said you got in a fight last night first thing she said i was like no i didn't she said you got in a fight look at your face i look at my face i have a fat ass wola right knee a fat ass chichon 
It's all purple. I had like two scrapes. You can see dry blood. And I was like, oh, who did I fight? Who did I fight? She was like, you fought somebody at the bar. You're being so crazy. And then Drew's annoying ass sitting laying there next to him. What's up? Yeah, bro, you're gonna fight. I'm like, shut your ass up. <laughs> shut everybody be. Bro, I was so pissed. So, okay, that was good. Did you like both of them? I did. I feel, like, I feel like we should try mixing both of them. Oh, if we're not happy with all the other ones. I'm still standing by the Nutella and chocolate, but the cream cheese Nutella and chocolate was really good. I fuck with it. I fuck with it too. All right, so I think we decided, since we both really like this one, I think this is gonna be, so I'm gonna do a four tier cake. This is the cake that I want inspiration on. Uh, I want it similar to that. I want a four tier cake. So I think that the biggest cake at the bottom will do chocolate since we really like the chocolate one. All right. So back to the story, right? Eddie falls on the floor, and I'm like, oh my god. I turn around, and I'm like, yeah, Frank, while Ash, Frank, and Drew are still in the car, and I'm still in the car. I'm like, Frank, Eddie got a concussion. Like, bro, he got a concussion. Because when I looked at Eddie on the floor, he's like this. So I literally <laughs> run out with my BBL pillow, because, of course, you know, I can't sit down. So I'm like, oh, oh, babe, babe. And then, like, Eddie's, like, getting up. And I'm like, are you good? And his eyes literally gushing blood, like. I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna have to call the paramedics. Like, we're gonna have to do some The paramedics. <laughs> we're gonna have to, we're gonna have, I don't know what we're gonna do, but I was like tripping. And then Drew starts getting undressed. And I'm like, why are you undressing? I turn the whole side where, where um, from my side, so behind me, the whole side, the left side of the car, throw up everywhere, like in between the tires, the windows. And I'm talking about chunks. These motherfuckers all had chunky ass throw up. Y'all do not know how to. Chew your food. So this I'm is talking about big ass pieces of frijol and carne seca. Like you guys did not chew none of your food. You know what's gross about that is we had ate at a Mexican spot right before we started drinking, and that's that's what we threw up. But this is the the raspberry reserve with the confetti cake. I remember trying these two together. She told us that we don't have to have confetti cake because confetti is more like, you know, birthday style. But she just made confetti cake just so that we can try the um, vanilla flavor from it. So you, what did you try? Raspberry or strawberry? I'm gonna try strawberry. I'm gonna try strawberry. But that one was good, but I do remember the raspberry being like kind of sour mm. and tangy. I'm gonna have to rate that one. It's good, but I just personally don't really like sweets like that. I only really like chocolate, to be honest. So I'm gonna rate that one like a <clears throat> four out of 10. Let me try the strawberry. Four to 10, but again, it's cause I don't really like strawberry vanilla cake. If Eddie likes it, I'm down to add it. Okay, so back to my story. Drew was taking off his clothes, and then I look at what he's doing. He's literally taking his shirt off to clean the side of my car where he threw up. And when I tell you this man was just spreading it more, and he was just spreading it. And I'm like, Drew, stop doing that. I turn around to look for Eddie. He's running down the street. He's gone. He's way all the way at the end. And I'm like, babe, where are you going? Where are you going? He turns around and like he's over there like falling and shit. I had to go get him. And then Ashley's like all pale, nearly like passing out of how this she is. So then me and Frank are struggling to bring him upstairs. We bring him upstairs, right? And then at this point, I look at the time and it's 11.40. Amanda and Brian get there at 12 a.m. And the last text message I have from Brian is, please don't forget about his friend. I almost, I almost, <laughs> Trying to make you feel yeah, bad. <laughs> I almost did forget about you because I was so stressed out. That being said, I'm like, you know what, Frank, I'm sorry. Like, take care of them, put Eddie to sleep, let them sleep on the floor. Like, when I get back, I'll take care of them. I'm like, just shower Ashley if you want to, like, you know? And then I go at Eddie, I'm like, babe, because we have Brian's car, and there was no way in hell I was gonna go pick him up in the Jeep, because I was planning to just drop him off and go in the Jeep, I gotta go pick up Brian. But I was like, the throw up is insane. There's throw up in the back seat, there's throw up outside, there's throw up all up on the side, it smells like shit in there. So I tell him like, babe, where's Brian's car key? I'm like, where's Brian's car key? He's like, yeah, yeah. like, where's Brian's car key? He's like, fuck you, you ain't going nowhere. I don't remember doing that. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah? Oh yeah, watch me. So I found the keys and I ended up running. And then I'm like, babe, where'd you park Brian's car? Please tell me where you park Brian's car. He wouldn't tell me where he parked Brian's car. So I run outside and I'm literally like, looking for his car. I had to go all the way to the structure, second floor, third floor. I'm like, where's this car? I had to put like the alarm and then I finally found the car for like 30 minutes. And at this point, it's like 12, 20, you know, I was like, Brian and Amanda are probably outside waiting for the damn car and I'm still all the way in Santa Clarita, bro. All right, so we're gonna try the uh, the lemon cake. I like the lemon cake would be good with the raspberry and the cream cheese. I'm gonna try it with the cream cheese. I'm gonna try it with the cream cheese. Mm. Mm -hmm. That 
that one for sure tastes like diabetes and I like it. That one's really good actually. That one's I'm fire. really good. I don't even like lemon stuff. Like can it, lemon, lemon citric stuff, I don't like it. And this is the actual lemon with the honey limon. But that was good. It's I'm gonna rate that one a good nine out of 10. Nine out of 10. Yeah, that one was fire. I don't remember trying this one the first time. I don't want to try with that. I feel like I'm not gonna like it. It's good, but it's, it's too tangy. I don't want to try with that. I think that I really like this one. Ooh, this one's hot. It was really So tangy. we're going to put on rate. I didn't really like this one. Did you like this one? What did you rate this one? I feel like out of the first three we just tried, this one would be last. Last? Me too. I didn't. I just personally don't like vanilla. So I'm going to put this one at the end. This one's for sure number one. I'm going to put this one this for number second, two. Yeah, that one's fine. Just in case because I might like these right here. All right. So which one do you want to try now, babe? We have red velvet left, strawberry left, and carrot cake left. So. Let's do red velvet. I'm down to do red velvet with like the cookies and cream. That sounds crazy. Yeah, that sounds good. All right. Um, so you found, you went to go pick up Amanda and Brian. No, no, no. So I find the car and I'm literally running into Brian's car and I hate driving Brian's car. I've driven in his car like multiple times, but I just hate it because I feel like that car is too like, it's like, makes me feel like pobrecita, right? It's like, I'm poor, like, you know? Cause what? like, it just, it's just so classy that I'd be like, oh my God, I'm gonna like, and especially how I drive, I'm like, I'm gonna crash this car, I'm gonna scratch it. It's a whole big mm. spaceship. That was fire too. That was good with this? Yeah, that was cookies and cream in. This is cookies and cream, this shit looks crazy. I, hope, I wish you guys can see how it looks. I wonder how she Oh my it. God, that shit was good. A ver, a ver si es cierto. That one was really good. I really like that one. Mm -hmm. oh. That was good. Damn, you see, this is why I'm so happy I'm retasting them because the first time I only remember liking the chocolate one. I didn't like anything <laughs> else. But because I was so rushed, now I like all of them. Now it's hard. Now, if we would have tried it again, Eddie would have been like, fucking carrot cake for the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay, I didn't know we were serving That one was good. Cake. And I know, I know you can eat this one with cream cheese because I've tasted red velvet with mm -hmm. cream cheese before, so I already know that's good. But I think we're going to be different. We're going to do... Um, Cookies and, cookies and cream with that one because that was a crazy tape. <clears throat> Alright, so once I'm in Brian's spaceship car, I'm here trying to zoom. I'm starting to airlift and shit. I have my fucking space suit on and everything, and I'm like, alright, let me put the address. Boom, I get a call from Brian. Hello, are you gonna come? Where are you? I'm looking at your location, you're at home. I'm like, stop stressing me the f out. I'm on my way, bro. Chill. He's like, ah, Spencer. <laughs> This one was good, but I feel like these three are still at the top. Okay, let me try it. The strawberry. <clears throat> try it with the cream cheese. Mm -hmm. That was good, but I still do like the other ones. Mm -hmm. Alright. Mm -hmm. Strawberry with the cream cheese is fire. Fire. Mm -hmm. Fuck. That was good too. I'm gonna still stick with these. Wait, you don't want to like trade these like this? Or? You know what? Yeah, I think we should. I think this one with cream cheese is better than that one. Really? Yeah. I like really sweet shit though. You like tangy, lemony, soury stuff, so. I don't know. We're going to put these side by side because I still have to decide. <clears throat> these are up there though. If the carrot okay. cake doesn't do it, then for sure we have our four cakes here. So the strawberry with the cream cheese and the lemon with the cream cheese are neck and neck right now. Yeah. We have red velvet, cookies and cream, and then we have chocolate and Nutella, but the chocolate with the cream cheese and Nutella was also fire. I'm yeah. Liking. I so, don't know. We might just have to use cream cheese for all of them. We might just have to get three cakes, bro. Yeah. All right, let's try the cake. Here, try this one. So last one of today's cake testing. We got carrot cake, carrot cake, carrot cake. What the <laughs> hell is that? I don't know what I was like. We got carrot cake. All right, try it with cream cheese because I've only heard cream cheese and carrot cake. Yeah, I haven't but, heard anything else with All right, guys, I ended up driving all the way to LAX to pick up a man and Brian. And I was so mad because I was literally falling asleep picking them up because at this point it's already one in the morning. And for some reason to get from terminal one all the way to terminal six, it took me an hour and 30 minutes, okay? That shit was good. Really good or like kind of? Nah, that shit was good. Fuck. Oh. That's 
what I'm saying. I don't remember it being this hard. That shit was fire, huh? That shit was fire. I only remember liking the chocolate one. Why do I like all these now? All right, well, you have to pick mini, 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 more because I like these. I like it in this order, too. Fuck strawberry, fuck lemon. These are the, the three right here. These well, are we the have three. four. But cakes. I don't know. Carrot cake kind of gives like Easter vibes, you know? Gives like. Hometown buffet vibes. Have you, did you ever eat at Hometown oh, buffet? Yeah, I did, but this does not give Hometown buffet Yeah, vibes. because when you would go eat there, they had the dessert section, and one of the main pieces was the carrot cake. Because they had the little pieces of the carrot cake and the cream cheese on top with the low carrot. All right. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> who cares? At this point, everybody, by the time we do the damn cake, everybody's gonna be, everybody's drunk, gonna be huh? drunk. I don't even think anybody's gonna be eating it. And if they do, they're gonna swallow it and just forget about it, and they're not even gonna be there like ratatouille, like fla taste the flavors. That's true. That is true. But I don't think we're gonna be able to choose right now on camera. How about you guys choose? Okay. <laughs> like they were tasting it. I know, huh? This so, is really hard. We're gonna debate between these three. I don't think we're gonna be able to figure this out on camera, but we will let you guys know on our Instagram stories which one we chose. I feel like though, if it was really up to me, I would I would have done this. Bottom is... bottom cake, the biggest, chocolate, the second biggest, uh red velvet, the third big uh what? Is it biggest or smallest? would be the carrot and the little one will be. Do you want to add all four cakes in one cake? Yeah, they're three layers, babe. It's a three layer cake, so this one. This is four cakes though. It, I mean, four layers. So the first big one is that one. Then it's the second layer, which is smaller than the biggest one. It's that one and the second one and the third one. All right, well. Look, I don't think you're understanding what I'm trying to say. No, I'm picking up what you're putting down, my boy. Pick yeah. it up more because you're not understanding what I'm trying to say. You're saying that you want to put chocolate, red velvet on top, and carrot on top of that one, and lemon on top of that one. Because look, I'm going to show you guys our cake, okay? Y'all let me know if it's ugly. That's three, though. Four. Oh, you're going to so add one. So this one will be that one. This middle one will be that one. And this one will be that one. And then okay. that one. Okay, well, we're, we'll have to discuss that off camera. But I'll be down to do that. Yeah, it was really good. We have to see if she'll be able to do that though. Honestly, um, her cakes are good. Her cakes are really good. Have you guys- and That comes from somebody who doesn't like sweet stuff. If you guys are looking for like cakes for weddings, birthdays, baby showers, anything, um, I'm gonna leave her business in the description down below. I'm gonna leave that link in the description down below because her cakes are really good. Like, we're not just saying that. We're literally debating on throwing all these four cakes into our one wedding cake. But, okay, your story? Okay, so at this point... Yeah, like, we, we literally finished the cakes within the end time of your story. Because you're fine. Yeah. At this point, it took me an hour and 30 minutes once I was from Terminal 1 to get to Terminal 6 because Amanda and Brian were all the way at the end. They get in the car, we're vibing. Again, we're listening to the same song, Lifestyle. Me and a damn song, huh? And one get, of Karen's favorite songs is uh, Lifestyle by Young Thug. It just puts me in the mood, bro. Like, it just uplifts me every time, never fails. But at this point, we're driving, we're almost home. I was driving myself home. And um, Brian was like, can we go to Kane's? I was like, no. I got three drunk mother chuckers at the house. Frank is already texting me, talking about how he hates me and that he needs a blanket to sleep because everyone's cold. <laughs> and at this point, I'm like, I gotta go home, so. I'm gonna show you how Karen left us though. When, when, when she left, I'm gonna slide the picture right here. This is how we were looking when Karen left. Drew no. was on the floor with no shirt on. That's not how I left you guys. That's how Frank left you guys. Oh, no. well, either way, when Karen wasn't here, that's how we were. Drew was on the floor, no blanket, no shirt. Ashley was curled up on the on the couch, no blanket. And I was curled up on the other side, no blanket. That shit was bad, bro. I don't remember any of that. So at this point, uh, I'm home already, excuse me. And I had already told Amanda and Brian what was going on. So they were like, nah, for, for real, like, let me see your Jeep. They get off to look at the Jeep. They don't even see it like completely. And they're already gagging of how bad it smells. It smells so bad. And then Brian's like, oh, I see chunks. And they're both like, eyes are getting watery. They're both gagging outside. And I was like, I know, I hate them. I come upstairs and that picture that Eddie's showing you guys, that's how I see everyone except I seen Frank sleeping on a chair with his head on a little ass pillow. His neck looked broken. He looked so uncomfortable. And then I got home and then I just put Ash and Frank in the master, not the, yeah, in our master bedroom. I left Drew on the floor. No, I'm just kidding. I put Drew on the couch and then I gave them blankets and then I was going to go to sleep. At this point, it was like four in the morning. I try to go to sleep like at four in the morning. Everybody wakes up by 6 a.m. because they're like literally still throwing up, feeling like shit. Their hangovers were bad. So then I got up and then I used Ashley's car and I went to go get them like food. And then nobody left until the next day till like five. Everybody felt better yeah, until like 5 p.m. Everybody just stayed here and we were just all recovering. And we ended up feeling better by like 5, 6 p.m. And it was just bad, bro. My first day back drinking did not make me miss drinking at all. I, I think I'm just gonna chill. 
the drinking forever because it was a vibe oh though i had fun but it wasn't for them to throw up in my car i was like oh my god but eddie ended up cleaning it that same day because i told him i was like if you don't clean Bruh. that car today oh it's gonna god. be sticky forever when i opened the door the smell smacked me in my face and i felt like throwing up again i literally had i threw up so, so jeeps have nets on the side of the car so where you can put your stuff right all my throw up got caught in that net so I opened the door and all the throw up was just, it was bad, bro. It was so bad. And I'm sorry. And you know, he had up. the audacity to be like, before he even went to go look at the car, I'm like, babe, it's so bad. It's so bad. He's like, I passed by it this morning. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> yeah, it's because she made it sound like it was really, really bad. Like I threw up all over the seat. I threw up all over her interior. And then when I passed by it, because we went to go get food before that, I had passed by it. I looked in it. It didn't look that bad. But when I opened the door, that shit was bad. Yeah, it was bad. And I'm so sorry for throwing up in your car. And I'm so sorry for making Ashley and Andrew throw up in your car. Because if I wouldn't have thrown up, they probably wouldn't have thrown up either. They threw up because they smelled my throw up. It was bad, bro. I've never thrown up in a car like that. I've never thrown up all... No, it's my second time throwing up all over myself. Well, I tell them that Ash, Frank, and... I mean, not Ash and Frank. Ash, Eddie, and Drew are now meant to be together because... Not like that, but they're meant to be like united now because now they can say they all threw up at the same, at the exact same time. Yeah, but we're gonna wrap up the video right here, you guys. That was our cake testing for the wedding. <laughs> um, we still have to discuss a little bit what we're gonna do, but that was also the story of me getting drunk for the first time in 2024. But guys, I'm so excited. Um, I know by the time you guys watch this, I am already gonna do what I'm gonna explain. Tomorrow is Saturday for us, and tomorrow I go try my wedding dress! Damn, I keep getting these. Damn, Karen is always choking on something. Always has something stuck in her throat. I'm gonna go try on my wedding dresses tomorrow. I hope I find one, and tomorrow I'm gonna go with my bridesmaids so that they can find their bridesmaids dresses as well and i'm actually gonna vlog all of that for you guys so i'm super excited i'm gonna get a party bus and everything we're going just gonna be vibing i'm so 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 excited for that so yeah if you guys like the wedding content let me know but if you guys are tired of the wedding content like let me know because i'll stop the wedding content nah I'm fuck gonna... that we gonna keep posting wedding content <laughs> <laughs> no nah, i'm just kidding but we love and appreciate every single one of you guys you guys have been going crazy on every single video we've been posting this year um Oh, I want to put a little disclaimer on last last week's video. So we did a video with Chef Sui, and you guys, we had thrown a mojada. We went, all right, first of all, we was not going to be eating fish out of a public park lake. Like, we were, we, we were joking. Uh, uh, I see what they be throwing in that lake. They be throwing hot Cheetos and <laughs> We went fishing for the content because Chef Sui wanted to make our chiles, mariscos, and all that. And I said, oh, why don't we go fishing? And then we'll you, you can cook that after. But we had thrown Karen, um, on Karen's line, we had thrown a fucking mojada that we had. From we, a yard tub. We said, why don't we just throw a mojada on the fishing line and then like act like you pulled it out of the lake. But to be funny, a lot of you motherfuckers took it serious as if we were really trying to make y'all believe Karen pulled out a fish. It was a filleted fish cut straight down the middle. Uh, we're joking, y'all. <laughs> it was a joke. But nah, can't. How about we gonna catch a tilapia in a public park, bruh? There's no way. But I, I did really catch a fish, though. My fish was really real. But yeah, I just wanted to do a little disclaimer on that one because I feel like the joke went over a lot of y'all's head. And uh, yeah, man. We love you guys. We're gonna wrap up the video right here. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on all of our other social media platforms. Links to all those are gonna be in the description down below. Um, make sure you guys add us on Snapchat because we're gonna start Snapchatting a lot more. We wanna snap like throughout our days type shit. You know what I'm saying? And so I'm gonna start snapping a lot of behind the scenes for the wedding because we are vlogging as much as we can, but that doesn't mean you're right there. So like when I try my dress on tomorrow, you're not following me on Snap, you're not gonna see the first one I tried on until I drop the video. Yeah, that's so. true. Yeah, so make sure you guys add Karen on Snapchat because I think she's gonna post the wedding dress content before we post the YouTube video. So we love and appreciate every single one of you guys, Brad. Like, thank you for the love and support you guys have been giving us. <laughs> this shit is crazy, Brad. They said it's fucking nuts, bro. Like, we really like this, bro. We really twins. Twins. <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next video. Nobody knows me. Hi, Sanya. Okay. I think I already said it wrong. I fucking know, bro. All right, bye. Love you guys. Love you guys.